The Golden Globes were last night, and the stars were out in force for Hollywood's fifth or sixth biggest platform to, for actors to make political statements instead of just accepting their awards. Uh, to recap, to recap, Casey Affleck appeared to have been bitten by a radioactive rabbi. And... <laughs> and... Everyone loved La La Land, the feel-good musical set in L.A. that proves that anyone can make it as long as you got a song in your heart, a dance in your step, and you're two of the most attractive people on the planet. <laughs> now, uh, in case you didn't know, Hidden Figures and Fences are two entirely different movies <laughs> featuring African-American leads that uh, both received multiple nominations. But shh, don't tell that to red carpet reporter Jenna Bush Hager. Shh. <laughs> I mean, I mean, Pharrell's not even, he's not even angry. You can just hear him deflate. You know this, the only thing this was missing was the Curb Your Enthusiasm music sting. Watch. So you're nominated for Hidden Fences. <laughs> uh, curb. Your music makes everything a better, including oh porn. God. Oh my God. Uh, now, I know this looks bad, but let's give her the benefit of the doubt. You know, Hidden Fences is maybe it's a real movie somewhere. Maybe that is a real movie somewhere. Oh. Comedians, give us the tagline for Hidden Fences. Dan. Um, will Stevie Wonder be able to get his uh, lawnmower business off the ground and avoid all the obstacles in suburbia? <laughs> Tune in to Lifetime original movie, Hidden Fences. <laughs> I mean, I think you just sold the show, Dan. You just sold the show. Points to that, okay. Betsy. I have not seen Hidden Fences, but I know all you have to say is that it's very important. It's very important, yeah. <laughs>